Hello, uh, everybody. As you have probably noticed, I make uh, Spanish speaking videos and English speaking videos. Um, this is concerning a lens free coil that I made. Um, and it's it's fabulous. It, it will not create lens even if it's short circuited. But uh, I've already made this video in Spanish. So now for my English speaking audience, I'd like to uh, explain where I got the idea. <clears throat> and this uh, came about through observation. This uh, belongs to a DC permanent magnet motor. You see the uh, magnets inside? <clears throat> so this is where I got the idea for the lens-free coil. This is how it works. Um, inside here, the magnetism is really strong. It's, it's very strong. It's hard to, to take this out. Uh, here's another demonstration. It, it, it's just a flat washer. And as soon as I go leave it, it just goes right in there. And it's hard to push out. It's hard to push it back out. Now, magnetism is really strong inside. But what I noticed is this, is, this gave me the idea that um, normally... Uh, when you have something that's not magnetized, for example, this, this is just a wrench. <clears throat> it doesn't attract something metallic. But what you could do is if you just add a magnet alongside of it, it too becomes a magnet. You see that? It too becomes a magnet. The metal becomes magnetized by 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 putting a magnet on the metal. It becomes a magnet also. So it becomes magnetized, as you can see. It's holding up the. This is a little heavy, but see that. Okay, so that's what's supposed to happen. Here, you got two powerful magnets inside, and uh, and metal. So if you put a washer, a metal washer on the outside, it's supposed to stick. Wrong answer. There's absolutely no magnetism. Uh, again, now with the washer, now remember the magnets are inside, and this is metal, so it's supposed to. It doesn't. It doesn't stick. But on the inside... It's a good, strong magnet. And ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what we need to do when we're making the coils from a generator. They go through a, what's called Lenz Law, right? When, anytime you run electricity around a coil, you're going to make a magnet. Anytime you have magnet, you're going to make electricity. It's it's two parts of the same coin. That's the way magnetism and electricity are. It's two sides of the same coin. Anywhere there's magnetism, you're going to have electricity. Anywhere there's electricity in a coil, you're going to make a magnet, electromagnet. So anyway, <clears throat> I, I said, wow, this is not supposed to happen. This is supposed to stick. Why isn't it sticking? There's two powerful magnets in there. Why is it not sticking? And it occurred to me, just like when you short circuit an electrical circuit, this is exactly what you're doing. You're short circuiting with the metal, but <clears throat> you're short circuiting the inertias. One is going this way on the magnet, the north side, and the other is going the opposite way. But what the metal makes them contact each other, so it diffuses it, it, it nullifies it. So you're left with uh, something that doesn't pick up magnetism on the outside. On the inside, they're strong. So anyway, I said, hey, w can we do this on a coil? And the answer was, yes, we can do this on a coil. Uh, we can short circuit the coil, not electrically. I'm talking magnetically. If you short circuit the coil, make it in such a form where it goes all the way around, it does the same effect. See, once there's no magnetism, 
I don't care how many magnets you you run a, around it, you know, like a rotor with magnets, like 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 we generate electricity. This doesn't affect it, and that's exactly what we want in the coil. That's where I got the idea uh, of the lens-free coil. So, in the future, I'll explain how to make the lens-free coil, uh, and it works perfectly. You you short circuit the coil. And it does not increase the amperage of your rotor. It stays the same as if it's blind to it. So that's a big thing, ladies and gentlemen. You don't need a big motor to, to, to make electricity. You need a little small motor with a lot of RPM. Anyway, until next time.